Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for how your person is feeling about you for the rest of July and August. So if you have a specific person in mind and you're interested in finding out more about how they see you, what they like, what they don't like about the dynamic between you both, or just generally how they feel about you and what their overall level of interest is in pursuing a relationship for the rest of July and August, then keep on watching. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So you may also like to watch the readings for the zodiac sign of your person, as sometimes the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. With all that being said, let's get into the reading. Hey there Aquarius, it's time to get into your reading. How does your person feel about you for August 2020? How is this person viewing you? How are they coming across? How do they really feel deep down? What do they like, not like about the connection between you both? And what is their overall level of interest in pursuing a relationship with you or taking things to the next level? How does Aquarius' person feel about them for August? 2020. How does Aquarius's person feel? Aquarius, how does their person feel? Come on, Aqua. How does your person feel about you? Oh, these cards want to come out, so I'm going to stop shuffling here. This wanted to flip earlier, so that definitely wanted to come out. It's the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Cups here, beautiful. We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the King of Wands. Ten of Cups. And Knight of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, we've got some interesting cards here, so let's go through them one by one. First card I pulled is for how your person is seeing you at the moment, how they view you. And we've come up with the seven of pentacles here. So this person definitely sees you as someone who is a very hardworking individual. You're someone who really enjoys, um, you know, making plans, working hard towards a goal, really putting the effort into something. Yeah, just not afraid of working hard. Um, maybe you've, you know, accumulated some some wealth um, this is not usually a card of like super wealthy or a lot of riches but you've you know you've you've worked hard to um, accumulate some kind of stability in your life however this energy is someone who is now sort of taking a step back you're really looking at all the hard work you've put in maybe you have um, you know you feel like you've put in a lot of effort with this person and now they can see that for some reason, you're pulling back your energy a little bit. This is a card of someone who is maybe even weighing up the pros of co pros and cons, thinking, you know, ha I've put in a lot of hard work towards something. Has it actually paid off? Am I better off just kind of leaving everything as it is, cutting my losses, starting from scratch with something else or in a new direction? Or... Should I keep going with this? You know, am I actually going to see some real results here or should I just leave and pursue something else? That's the kind of energy that's coming across or that they, um, they think you're in that kind of mindset at the moment, Aquarius. Yeah, so you could be contemplating something either when it comes to them or um, because we've got pentacles here, it could be a card related to, you know, uh, job satisfaction or something like that. Maybe you're thinking about changing jobs or whether or not you're appreciated or your hard work has actually paid um, off in your, in your current job or your current situation. But in general, this person feels that you have pulled back your energy. 
when we look at how they're coming across, wow, we've got the Ace of Cups here. So um, this person seems like they have um, maybe recently come out of a relationship. They're definitely ready to start something new. They're looking for something, you know, fresh and new in their life. They're very positive. They're very open and loving. They're a very caring person very kind of warm and generous, very receptive to meeting new, new people, just in general a very kind of kind, emotional, loving person. This person could be something of a healer, so maybe they do that um, for work, like maybe they're some kind of medical health professional, or maybe they're a counsellor, or they just have that kind of role with their friends and loved ones. This person could be a water sign. Um, doesn't have to be, or they could have sort of strong water in their chart. This is someone who's capable of loving very deeply. They also use their intuition a lot. So there's someone who you think makes their decisions based on kind of their gut feelings. You know, Aquarius, you're a very kind of analytical sign who doesn't tend to make decisions based on your feelings so you either like or don't like that as you know as a quality in someone else but you're seeing that this person uses more um, of their feelings when they're making a decision rather than their intellect or rather than thinking things through very rationally and logically this person um you know it comes across as very very caring they care deeply about their their friends and family they may even seem a little bit kind of wise beyond their years even if they're not you know necessarily older than you are they seem quite wise because i guess they have more access to their feelings and their emotions um, than perhaps you do at this time when we look at how they're actually feeling about you here, Aquarius, we've got the Nine of Cups. So they definitely want to progress things with you. We've gone here from the, you know, One Cup Ace um, to the Nine of Cups. So this person actually sees you as wish fulfillment. They feel very satisfied um, with you or... You know, if you guys aren't together yet, they feel like they would be very satisfied. They feel like you'd have a very satisfying connection. This is someone who enjoys the intimacy between you both, the actual physical intimacy. They feel very satisfied. This doesn't necessarily speak of long-term satisfaction, though. To get that sort of more long-term satisfaction, you'd need to really progress to the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups actually does come up in the reading, but it's not in the position that I would like to see it in for a natural progression, and I'll explain why in a moment when we get to that card. But um, yeah, generally, this person feels like you could be their wish fulfillment. You could satisfy them on many, many levels. When we look at what they like, about the connection or the dynamic between you both, we've got the King of Wands here. The King of Wands suggests to me that this person feels the dynamic between you two is very energizing, very passionate. They get a lot of, um, you know, King of Wands is someone who is quite creative, who has, you know, a lot, lots of like new ideas. They feel like the connection between you both is, you know, exciting and fun. You guys both like experiencing new things, going on adventures together. Maybe you, they feel like you could even, you know, really build something together. This person is, you know, the king of, I mean, the king of wands energy is someone who's quite a visionary, thinks about the future. also quite an, you know, sometimes an entrepreneur or a business owner or a CEO or, you know, head of a company, something like that. So maybe this person feels like you two 
yeah, could really build an empire together, both personally and professionally. What your person doesn't like about the connection is the Ten of Cups. So normally this is such, you know, a happy card to get in a reading, but it's come up as, you know, an obstacle or something that this person doesn't like. So it's quite an interesting card to get in that position. And there's a few things that that could mean. Maybe one or both of you is questioning the other person's need to have this kind of traditional, happy family life, um, you know, that so many people aspire to. Maybe someone is thinking, you know, is that actually what this person wants? Why are they trying to, you know, live up to some perfect expectation of society when really that's not what's going to bring them happiness? Maybe you're kind of, you're looking up to this as an ideal, but it's not really what you want. When this comes up in a negative position, it could even be like the grass is greener on the other side. You know, you look at these, you're looking at this, you know, happy family. Um, maybe you're looking at other friends or people you know, maybe on social media who are settling down and they all seem to have these super happy um, traditional kind of situations going on and you're thinking that's what you want and this person is saying well is that actually what you want or are you just kind of caught up in the illusion of what you know is portrayed by that sort of happy traditional family life the third thing I'm sort of getting from this maybe is that because you're coming across as this um, seven of pentacles so like your energy has pulled back a little bit maybe this person is feeling like um, they would not be able to get what they need from you in a relationship like maybe at the moment you're not bringing enough to the table emotionally with this person that could be could be um, a scenario for some of you Final card here is the Knight of Wands. So I pulled this for the, the person's overall level of interest in pursuing a relationship with you. And the Knight of Wands um, in general is a card of a lot of passion and excitement. So once again, this person is probably liking the intimate connection between you both. They are very excited about learning more about you, getting to know you. Um, Knight of Wands is someone who is, as I said, very excitable. They're creative. They're good at coming up with new ideas. They kind of get excited in their mind thinking about all the different things that you guys could do together. And yeah, there's definitely lots of attraction here. In terms of long term, this is not necessarily a card that speaks about a long term situation. It could get there, but the Knight of Wands energy, because they are so passionate and excitable, they're potentially going to get distracted by, you know, the next exciting new thing that takes their fancy. This person could could be a bit of like in and out energy going on where sometimes you feel like this person's really excited and then other times you just don't really hear from them because they've kind of they're off chasing something else so the level of interest is definitely there this person is super passionate excited warm open receptive they think you could be someone that really satisfies them they see you as a wish fulfillment um, but whether or not this is long term, the fact that the Ten of Cups here has come up in the, um, you know, in a negative position in this reading suggests that maybe you two have different ideas about what 
the final outcome should be what you know true happiness or a true partnership looks like to you both so i think that's probably something that's going to need to be um communicated or figured out over the coming weeks or during august thanks for watching guys i hope that was helpful